engineering drawing basic layout. We're going to start with two pieces of paper. We're going to start with a piece of index paper, 80 pound index, and some regular bond paper. Tap the two together. This is the drawing board. We're going to put our T-square on here. We're going to line the black edge up with the bottom. <coughs> Take this, curl this corners under a little bit, just up a little bit so that it doesn't hit on slide underneath the plastic edge. T-square tight against the left on the hook. Take your pieces of tape when it's aligned and tape at a 45 degree angle up at the top like this. Okay, it's also a good idea before you actually begin your drawing, put the T-square on here, slide this down and look to make sure that it's lined up straight. If it's not lined up straight here, everything you draw is going to be incorrect. Okay, we've got some basic tools we're going to use. We're going to use architect scale. We've got some regular number two pencils. I've got a mechanical pencil. We've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle and a 45 degree triangle. We're not going to be using the 45 today. We will be using the other one in a little bit. Hey, get all of our stuff cleared out of the way. We're going to begin by laying out our border and title block. The way this is done, I'm going to take my scale, and this is called a scale, not a ruler. I'm looking for the 16 scale. That's your standard inch. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to align the zero on the 16 scale up with the top of the paper. I'm going to put a mark at three quarters. I'm going to come up from the bottom three quarters of an inch and then I'm going to go another inch above that. So I've got a mark at three quarters and then an inch and three quarters and I've got one that's down three quarters of an inch. Next step, construction lines. The construction line is a very light line used in drawing. I'm going to carefully align this making sure my T-square is tight against the edge of the board and I'm going to draw my construction line by just dragging the pencil across the paper. I want a real light line, you should hardly be able to see it. I'm going to follow down here with each of these construction line and another construction line. Okay, what I'm establishing here is my three quarter inch margin on the top and bottom and my one inch high title box. My next step is to measure in from each side of the paper one half of an inch. I'm going to come in a half an inch here, a half an inch here. This is where your triangles come into use. I want it to be a little bit below the paper so I don't get the little hook on the end there. Line this up holding the T-square tight with my palm with the heel of my hand using my fingers to hold the T-square tight against the, the triangle, the T-square and tight together. I'm going to draw a construction line here and I'm going to slide over to my left side I'm going to draw a construction line here. Now the reason we draw construction lines is so that we can find these intersections and I can identify six intersections right here. I have one here top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. Now at the top of the title block here, one inch here and here. I'm going to draw all border lines on these. Now border lines are dark heavy lines that are used to indicate the outside of the border and other major things. I always like to start at the top and work my way down so that I don't drag the T-square across to where I've already drawn and smudged the paper. To draw a border line, I'm going to push the pencil and twist it slightly, drawing a dark line and stopping exactly at my intersection. <coughs> Move down here. Remember, I'm holding the T-square tight against the edge of the board. If that slips, I'm going to draw an incorrect line. Come over to here, right to here, across, okay. Now to draw vertical lines, the temptation is to take the T-square like this. We don't do that. This side is not necessarily square with the top side. We always use a triangle to draw a vertical line. Tight, tight, tap, tap. Start at my intersection. Now as I push this up, if I angle my pencil a lot, it's going to cause this triangle to lift and go under it and destroy my line. So I need to hold the pencil fairly straight. Bring it up here stopping exactly at the corner. You don't want to overdraw it. Come over to the other side, same thing. That is 
first part. Now, taking my scale, back to the 16 scale again. I'm going to line it up on the left side of my title block. This is my title block, 10 inches long, 1 inch high. I'm going to line this up with the edge of the border line, and I'm going to put a mark at 3, 6, and 9 inches, and that should leave me exactly one more inch to the end. While it seems possible just to line this up straight, use the T-square, put the triangle on it. Same process, taking your time. Quality is everything. Okay. This is the border lines that we're drawing. Now in some plates you're going to be adding another border line in the middle or maybe two or even more. But the basic plate layout that every one of these engineering drawing plates starts with is this layout. The only thing that remains that we have to do that's not different on every plate is to divide this title block out so that we can put our lettering in here. Granted this gets a little complicated. What we have is one inch. Now we're going to break that inch down into parts. The way I'm going to divide this section is by using this scale I'm going to go one eighth of an inch and then I'm going to go five sixteenths. So I go one eighth to here and then five sixteenths more. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to go another eighth, one, two, and then I'm going to go five sixteenths more. One, two, three, four, five. And that will leave me this. So I'm going to come in here and mark. Use any inch. If you use between zero and one, sometimes your scale gets a little bit worn out. All the inches are the same. Pick one that has good markings on it. Right here, I'm going to go one eighth, five sixteenths, one eighth, five sixteenths. And I'm going to put my measurement marks here. When you're making measurement marks, try and keep them light. Now these four lines, I'm going to draw horizontal construction lines. Remember using the weight of the pencil. I really don't want the lines to show except to guide me when I do my lettering. Across here, here, and here. Now this leaves this section out. Now what's going to go in this section is my lettering and this is why it's important to practice lettering first. I'm going to be writing the name of the school in here and the city. And the school is Salem Middle School. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to use three seconds about to make each letter using downward motions and precise movements. Pull the M's down to the middle. Now you also need to keep into consideration on this is kerning which is keeping your letters narrow enough so that you can fit all three words because we're putting Salem Middle School and that deals with how close you put your letters together and how narrow you make the letters. If they're too big or too wide you're going to run out of room. Okay we've got Salem Middle School and then we're going to put our city which is Virginia Beach Virginia's largest city, by the way. Okay. This is how we're going to put this. The second box is going to have the name of the plate we're going to do. And this is going to be our, this is going to be P1, plate 1. And this is a lettering exercise. below it, putting tech ed, and EngDraw, which is our abbreviation for engineering drawing. Remember making your letters with downstrokes. Okay, in this section in the third section, on the top line, we're going to put our name.
and we're going to put the date, the, the month and the year. So since this is the second day of February, we'll be using that. And 2012. The small box indicates the plate number. This is going to be plate one, so I'm going to put P1. On the bottom, in the first box, put your class number, which is your bell number. In the second, put your student number. I'm just putting zeros there, but if you're in second bell and your number is eight, you'd put two dash eight. <coughs> this is the basic plate layout.